Hello everyone, happy Saturday and welcome to tonight's stream where we are back with Aloy in No Man's Land to pick up where we left off um, on our adventures. We have a lot <laughs> to cover. We have barely scratched the surface um, for being almost 20 hours into this game. So there is a lot to it. And so far, I'm still really, really enjoying it. Um, I like this game a lot. <laughs> I jumped in um, right before countdown to catch up to where uh, we left off last time. Um, I did stop by a uh, merchant and I bought the piece that I needed and I came and I bought the bow that I wanted. Uh, I actually got all the way back here excited because I had the piece only to find that I didn't have enough money to buy it. Um, but I had enough to sell to, to do it and we have... Uh, 28 shards left. I can't afford to upgrade it, um, but I, I bought it. Even on its base level, though, it's better than the bow that I was using, so it's still good. But um, we really, really, really need to uh, kill some stuff, do some things, get some loot, earn some shards, uh, and then make some upgrades. So, But we're good. I assigned my skill points to... Um, Nothing too exciting. I did finally put some points into trappers so I can put traps down quickly and get resources back from them. Um, and then I think that's really all I did. I took this one to make um, the second level of Quiet Spear. And I did this one. So now when I override, I can choose if I want them to be aggressive or defensive. Um, so I can actually put them on aggressive when I override something, which seemed cool. I don't know. Will I remember to do it? Who knows? We'll have to see how that works, how it gives me the choice. <laughs> I don't know. But it seemed like a good thing to put some points into, I guess. Uh, so we're all ready. We're ready to go. Um, let me say hello to everybody and then we'll decide where we're heading first. Uh, Brian, Pacific, Eddie, Jeff, Pie, Kevin, welcome. Good to see you. Wander and Lily, welcome. Uh, let's see. Scrolling. Hey, Mozzie, good to see you. Rabbit, Russian, Toby, welcome. Uh, do, do, do. Scroll in the list. Am I missing? I feel like I'm missing somebody because I'm scrolling too fast. Hey, Forza, welcome. Pat, good to see you. I hope you all are having a good weekend. Let me know if I missed you as I was scrolling. Um, okay. So. <laughs> Did I do double hellos for Rabbit? Or is this now the double hello? Hmm. Uh, so we have a couple things I want to do today. Uh, we still have this Shadow Carja thing to go and investigate. Uh, we have this... Uh, Jagged Deep, we found a, a rebel outpost and we can go there and then loot the outpost leader. Uh, there's another one up here that we haven't even discovered yet. Another rebel outpost. And then we have two of these relic um, ruins that we haven't done. There's one over here. Conveniently with a campfire, we can go right to. Uh, and then there's one over here that we have a quest to go look at. So um, I think I'd like to start with the shadow um the eclipse and then work our way that way so we're going to travel back over here like to where the cauldron was and then around and then maybe do some of the puzzles we'll start with the combat <laughs> that was the double one okay <laughs> all right so we're going to go here to this place first so let me get back to the am i at the fire yes Um, quick travel. This is as close as we can get, so we're going to go here. And it looks like it's just a quick... I mean, actually, technically, it looks like we want to be coming this way. This way will get us there, though. If we follow the road around, maybe we detour to get this campfire, too. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hey, Machiavelli, welcome. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Kevin. 
<laughs> you caught us through the story farther along. I've heard good things about the story. All right, so. We should uh, activate that as a quest. Uh, that's a side quest, right? Yeah, this one. Okay. Let's see. What's it with these arrows? Let's see if we can kind of cut straight through here. Because I think it's that path right there. Nope, not N. Keep doing that. I want M for map. No, we're on the path. It's this way. <laughs> it's this way. I knew it the whole time. <laughs> I hope you have a good time, Sarah. Hey, Christy. Good to see you. It is windy here. I just tapped Q for vats. This is not that game. This is not- there's no vats in this game to warn me of upcoming danger. I just have to pay attention. <laughs> the weather in this is so good. I know, right? I just wanted- I want to do my danger taps. My tippy taps for danger. What's over here? Is this- well, this shows like a, the little walk across thing too. This is detailed. All right, we're gonna stay on the path. We are going to stay on the path. I do want to veer off a little bit and get that campfire though. Is that like a highway sign? Looks like a highway sign. Look at that. This is the first, like, big water we've come across. Oh, yeah, look, because that's that's the big water. It's the further end of this. Like, we swam across this little piece of it. But this is looking out, like, across the beach all the way out through the water. Hey, Evan, good to see you. Go to the Eclipse Hideout. That's where we're going. Yep, that's what we're doing right now is the Eclipse Hideout coordinates. I'm just exploring along the way. That's really cool, though. All right, let's see. Stay on the road. There's actually a suspicious lack of activity. Like, I haven't seen anything alive. No, oh, there's a fox. Okay. I was going to say, no animals, no anything. There's a fox. We found one. Signs of life. Signs of life. I want to make sure I'm hitting the veer off in the path, which is why I'm going to keep looking. Yeah, see, like, I want to go to the left and around and activate that campfire. For future campfire needs. I feel like there's a reason that's there, you know? It seems to be kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's like rapids. I love the environment in this game. I know I keep pausing to look at it, but like it's just so good. Like, river rapids with all the waterfalls. Did we pass the campfire? We did. How did I... How did I pass the campfire? Oh, because it's up here. Oh, that's how we passed it. That's how we passed it. It's way up here. That's interesting. Out of the way, mountain goat. What's the deal? There's nothing up here. I 
cool quick travel spot, I guess. But yeah, that's that's extra random. All right, back on track. I know I need a sand hat for real. This is a very sandy storm. Where's the sand hat when we need it? I feel like I was right next to this goat and I didn't kill it and now I'm down here and I decided to kill it, but I changed my mind. It's a sheep. I'm going to keep calling them goats. I'm going to keep calling them goats, even though clearly it's a bighorn sheep. Oh, machines. Oh, those are, um... Bristlebacks. What animal is that? It looks like maybe a bird. Alright, well we might as well fight them over here. Uh, 15, 88, 10, and 50. Yeah, we want to be using the acid on our frost bow. Oh, there's a third one. Did I take a moment to see what these guys are weak to? No. No, I didn't. Gotta get an angle. Where I can get your butt. Yeah, see, their canisters had, like, armoring on it. Oh, hello. I was looking at the wrong one. I, broke it off. I heard someone say, and now I can't remember who it was, but somebody said that, like, the game adjusts to your style, right? So, like, these never used to have armor on them, but because my preferred way to fight these guys is making them explode, now they're coming out with armor on their backs. So I can't just take that shot without knocking it off first. And I wonder if that's true. It sounds right. It sounds good. Hey, Renegade. Good to see you. Brian. It was Brian that said that. That's right. Brian's the one who said that. I never really paid attention enough in the first one, but like, it seems legit. Uh, let me loot you. There we go. Okay, we're going this way. I need to get to some sneaky grass. Uh, Eclipse Cultist. Very weak to fire. We have fire. Get across to the other side and hide in those bushes. These are the coordinates Vesra gave his henchmen in the daunt. Time to see what the Eclipse are up to. There's more of them. Who are these people that are purple? Oh, Ocharu captives! Ooh, so it's a rescue mission. Alright, let's see. Oh, they have a machine too. Plasma won't have much effect on it. Scrapper. Uh, there's a person down there I want to mark. Okay. Now. This is a start. Oh, that didn't kill him. I completely thought that that was going to kill him. Okay. Uh, switching to fire arrows. Uh, 
Doesn't seem like they noticed me, though. Nope. Doesn't seem like they noticed me. I so want to Those shoot that bird. Machines look like they've been overridden. I better be careful. Partially unlocked. Scrapper says partially unlocked. I've never noticed that before. Hey, you Ricky, good to see you. I've never noticed it say partially unlocked for an override before. I need to take care of any Eclipse guards still around. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was distracted. Ooh, he had a helmet on. It also looks like he has a big gun. Did he have a big gun? Eh, we're gonna go fire. Gonna say somebody did see me. That's her. This is our chance. There's people here. Who told me? Are they being forced to excavate these ruins? I see you, Scrapper. Other scrapper is coming for me. I can hear it. Oh, two of them. Uh oh, I didn't mean to fall down. I'm really gonna stop like jumping off of cliffs. I'm not giving up. I'm stuck. Okay, apparently we're gliding. Need to just not like backwards run and you know. To work for them. You know what I want to use? These guys. Can I shoot you with one of these guys? Uh oh. Fell down again. I fell down again. Hey. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Much better. Nope, I want the G, not the F. All right. They'll cover you. Oh. The way he said ow. You can shoot me, but I'm gonna light you on fire. And that makes this feel uneven. Now I need to get into these ruins. Hello, Stop everyone. Whatever this Vesra's doing. That hurt a little. That was not my uh was not my best fight ever. <laughs> okay. We get there in the end. We get there in the end. All right, let's see. Is there health around here? I see sticks. I think it's funny that it's telling me how to refill my health. Like at this stage in the game, I've had to refill my health many, many times. Normally, I appreciate the hand holding tips, though, so I'm not really going to complain about it. Do, do, do. We've upgraded our weapons and upgraded. So like we bought new weapons and we have upgraded um, their levels as high as we can. That's a rock. 
and put whatever coils I have into them. He did have a big gun. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it was too far away. Uh, those look like. Well, that captive has a name. Hey, I can help you get in. Let's talk. I need to make more ammunition real quick before I get too distracted. Uh, that's pretty good. There we go. Oh. Okay. It won't open from this side. It's got some kind of special lock. <sighs> Eclipse, bastards. Good riddance! So, Vezra found an actual fortress to hole up in. Listen. If you're here to stop them, you could sneak in from the upper scaffold. We haven't reinforced all of the southern wall yet. Vezra's holed up on the other side of the pit. Who are you? And the others? I'm Yef. All of us are Utaru. The Eclipse have been prowling the borders of Plainsong, snatching up anyone they can. Would have worked me to death if you hadn't shown up. So the Eclipse abducted you? Yeah. I was out, uh, exploring a couple weeks ago when they caught me. Exploring? <laughs> well, more like wandering and looking for scraps. Plain Song isn't such a fun place to be right now. Not much food. Not much to do. Of course, it's a thousand times better than this cesspool. Next time, I'll stay closer to home. Yeah, his, in, his outfit is interesting. <laughs> Very high-waisted. The others ran off. Will they be okay? They'll run straight for Plain Song. No guarantees, but they'll probably make it. I'd be more worried about the ones still inside. They'll either be working or penned up. I'll keep an eye out for them. Any idea what's waiting for me inside? Eclipse goons, killer machines, dangerous weapons from the old ones. What kind of weapons? You think they'd tell me? I was lucky to go a day without a beating. Their leader's always droning on about wielding the ancient power of death. <sighs> that sounds bad. You should probably head back <laughs> and miss my chance to deliver some payback? I want to help. Then stay here and let me handle the fighting. If I rescue anyone else inside, they'll be grateful to see a friendly face. <laughs> well, luck be with you then. Guess I'll just sit back and enjoy the show. They did this just so I couldn't bring the big gun in. They make you climb to get in so you can't carry the big gun. I just walked off that pathway. Okay, good. Oh, look at all this. Must have been some battle the old ones fought here. Um, voice recording. All foreign positions overrun. Can't raise USRC. Bottom line, we're dog meat. Any goddamn suggestions? Still got an FAE. When the bots pour in, we detonate. Blow up a whole lot of tin cans. Take them with us. Spiteful. I like it. Make it happen. See you in the sky, soldier. Hmm. Uh, I would say, like, my first reaction was like, oh, suicide mission. And then I realized that the entire world was a suicide mission. Like, no one lived. I totally forgot, too, that I have a new weapon to play with, and I haven't even put it on my... I haven't even equipped it. I don't really have a good place to put it. I guess I can replace my Tripcaster. I'm very rarely using my Tripcaster... Like... For the sake of it. Without thinking through it and planning for it. The men of shadow. The blood and sweat of our slaves see this ancient battleground. And soon, we will reap our destiny. 
Can I sneak up and uh, kill this guy from the back? I don't see anyone else around. <gasps> oh! That was a brutal kill. Did you see that? We slipped him behind him, kicked him in the knee, and then stabbed him in the back as he fell the down. Everyone's fought hard here. Looks like this place was under siege. That in this fortress, we construct the foundation of our empire. We, privileged few, will rule over thousands. I feel like I'm running more over her shoulder than normal today. I don't know why. Uh, supply chest. Okay, no signs of people. That's my way in. No longer are we burdened by the Kasha masses. We are free. Free to conquer. All right, let's see what we've got. Quite an operation the Eclipse have here. Time to put an end to it. It's weird that I can't... Okay, there it goes. Uh, blaze. We're gonna want to set that off. Um, suspended platform. Smoke drum. What'll help never hurt. Smoke that may obstruct visual detection. And we won't stop with Meridian. Oh, why are you red? The known world will tremble as our shadow stretches across the land. Oh, maybe just the distance. All right, so there's a couple things we can knock down. Log stockpile. Braced platform. So yeah, a couple things that we can um, take out stealthily. If I were to Ooh, lost her in the smoke. Okay, Ooh. nope. Ooh. That didn't go to plan. Ow, the alarm. They need Over help. There. Now I really want to attack. Okay, that didn't go to plan. Uh, only I can give you this gift. What I kind only of hoped was gonna I happen. For I am no longer just a man. I wield the very power of death itself. I wanted to be on fire arrows. I wanted to explode the blaze, and instead I just knocked it down. Which hopefully will help me later. Okay, they lost sight of me. What I was hoping would happen was that the smoke would make him not see me and then I could like stab him in the back. I was trying to take him out stealthily, but the smoke alerted him, which makes sense. We're wasting ammo. You think we can find her? I'm with you. That grass is where the movement was. Get going. Over here. Go, go. It's cool that they remember. Like, if I had moved, then they would have been a little bit more confused. Man of shadow. But they remembered where I was. Blood and sweat slaves in this ancient battleground. And soon, we will reap our destiny. That would have been cooler if it landed on him. 
Uh oh. Have we run into these in this game yet? I was stuck against the wall again. Really? There is trouble. Like I remember these from the last game, but no, we haven't even scanned these in this game. Get out of the focus! I don't know if it's the gap in play, but I feel like I'm all twisted to the side. Like my aim is just off. I missed my good tear arrows. By the time I was fighting these guys in the last game, I had really good tear arrows. Oh, somebody's behind me. There we go. Nope, not so much. At this point, we're just tanking it out. We're fine. Oh, hello. Oh, uh oh. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, now I'm, I'm confused by what just happened. Hold on, we're gonna have to talk about this in a second. So much for the guards. Now for their leader. Okay, I tried to get health potion. Have to be connected to a power source somewhere. Probably inside that big structure. But that's where I'll find him. Okay, so I ran out of health things for doing Q. My little health thing was out. So I couldn't do it. But then I was trying to do R to use my health potion, which seemed super delayed. But then I realized it said hold Q. So I held Q and it refreshed my 12 health things. So I think that I have health like berries in my bag in addition to the 12 health charges like it says i have six berries i did not put that together that i can refresh that mid fight all right what did i miss because i definitely was not looking at you guys during that whole thing character animation does feel a lot alive dynamic and alive it was a battle chicken yes now I gotta find one so I can scan it, though. Hey, Mike, good to see you. Hey, Kelsey. You're playing the first one? The first one is so good. I'm loving this one, too. Hey, Legion, good to see you. Yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> All right. Let's loot everybody. Hey, Brent. Good to see you. Well, you look edible. Once you're cooked. Remember, only I can give you this gift. Only I can lead you, for I am no longer just a man. I wield the very power of death itself. There's a lot of propaganda happening here. Like, he's got quite the propaganda machine going. All right. Oh, this is an old body. Got a quarter ton of metal on top of me. And maybe three ribs left. FAE hasn't blown, which means that the engineers are dead. Gotta cut myself out of here, and it's gonna hurt. 
But you know what they say. If you want something done right. This is like a corpse corpse. I don't remember corpses. I mean, I remember shadow. skeletons. For the Wait. blood and sweat of our slaves see this ancient battleground. And soon we will reap our destiny. It's been like a thousand years. This corpse is mummified. Is it the climate of this area? What? This is the mummy. It's been a thousand years. Like, what? <laughs> All that blaze would have been so helpful if I could have exploded it. Alright, let's make sure I'm not missing... anything loot-like. Oh, it's called Fubar is the name of the data point. Oh, I did miss loot. I missed loot over here. Upon this fortress, we construct the foundation of our empire. We, privileged few, will rule over thousands. Imagine having to, like, live here, just listening to these, this repetitive announcement over and over. Have a good night, Kelsey. Just imagine. Ready for anything now? I can't believe it took me this long to figure out the medicine thing. So, like, it shows I have 17 berries above my health charge. So, I think it's like an, a recharge. I don't know if it's pulling from my stash. No longer are we burned by the Kaja masses. We are free. Free to conquer. I don't know. It's weird. See you later, Rabbit. I never paid much attention to it before. All right. An outlander? Who is she? Otaru Help us! Calm down, everyone. I'm gonna set you free. Blessed thanks. But there's loot. Okay, free the captives. But first, the loot. Okay, now we'll let them out. Hang tight. I'll get you out of there. You're safe now. Get as far from here as you can. But what will you do? <sighs> Clean up this mess. Alone? That's certain death. Sure. For the bad guys. All of you, find a place to hide while I finish this. Now, to take care of Vesra. They do like the high wastes. You think they would have been safer in the cage? I mean... Sitting ducks for hostages, maybe. Time's up. Warbots are right outside. Inputting detonation sequence. Alpha, Charlie, Echo. Shit. Safety switches won't disengage. No time to do it manually. It's over. I failed. God, if you're listening, look out for my little girl. That's sad.
The arts of the old ones are mine alone to command. And by mastering them, I will secure our future. Maybe you should secure your hideout first. The savior of Meridian. How kind of you to deliver Shut you. up, Vezra. It's over. Hardly. You may have driven us from the Sundom, but now is the time for revenge. Okay, here we go then. That Ravager isn't gonna make things easy. I gotta take it out, fast. I missed. Oh, he's got the Ravager cannon. No, it's gonna explode. I don't want to be close to it when it explodes. Why am I stuck? I really gotta use the like acid like that. Ah, see, I like it when I have the Ravager gun. I guess I should be glad the Ravager doesn't have it, but still, I would like to, uh, You're going down next! No, I'm guessing he's gonna let something else out. Oh, well, maybe not. <sighs> oh yeah, it does like fire through this. Metal bite, all right. Can he fire through this stuff? I guess he probably can. Oh, he can go hide too. I want. Oh. What I wouldn't give to watch you die. You'd have to try a lot harder for that. Not with this. Uh oh. We'll both be gone in an instant. Oh no. Burn, Phil. All that loot. But the loot? <laughs> I'll be fine. I hoped you just beat the snot out of these bastards, but this is beautiful. The others, I, I told them to hide, are, are they- Everyone's okay. They all found a safe place. I figure we'll camp out here until we get our strength back up. Then I'll take everyone back to Plainsong. Thanks, Yef. Listen. Sometimes during his ramblings, Vezra mentioned his former comrades, said they'd arrive any day now. Are we safe? I don't know, but I intend to find out. It looks like Vezra spent some time in here. I'll take a look around, find out if there's any more Eclipse we need to worry about. All the loot! I knew I should have looted mid-fight. Loyal Eclipse. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I've seen this before. I think that's the last of them.
Um... Focus Never... might find something I missed. I don't know if the unidentified signal nonsense is like in the distance. I think that's always there. Oh, here's one. I left word in the don't. If the others are still alive, they'll find it and try to join me here. Not if I take them out first, which I did. Hey, Q, good to see you. Oh, no. I'm out of this ammo. There we go. And that's a good reminder. Wasn't trying to shoot anything, but good reminder to make more. Come on. Uh, the rest of it. No, I'll make some more of these. Okay. I gotta. I I want to try the new thing. Hold on. Inventory weapons. We got this thing. The Shredder Gauntlet. I'm going to put it in place of my Tripcaster. It's really inconvenient having to have so many bows. It's good that they give us six weapons on the wheel. But of those six weapons, four of them are bows right now. Because I need to get all of the different ammo together. So it, it's slightly inconvenient in that way. Uh... Could use my focus here. Five tribes. Five bombs. That's what I need. With their capitals in ruins. And will have no choice but to submit to my rule. I'll say this for Vesra. He dreamed big. Guess that's all I need to know. I should talk to Yef. Let him know what I found. Where is the... Oh, it's like I can see it. Right there. But I don't think I can get to that side. Probably where the wall collapsed and I can't get back to my loot. <laughs> oh no, that was right here. What did you find? Vesra's comrades are dead. The Utaru have nothing to fear from the Eclipse anymore. And neither does the rest of the world. Well then. Can't imagine there's anything a scrawny forager like me could ever do for someone like you. But if you ever need a favor... You can find us in Plain Song. I hope you make it there. Saved the Daunt. Resolved all of the problems troubling the Daunt. Okay, yeah, because this was the last piece. Okay. Cool. We did the thing. And we got level 18. Even higher max health. I love it. All right, perfect. So now, what are we going to do from here? We took care of that. There is the one over here. Well, first of all, I feel like we need to get to this campfire, right? Like, before we do anything else, we need to go save. Although I'm assuming that being a quest was an autosave. We have these um, ruins to go do. I want to do that. We've got the rebel camps to do. There's still so much covered up and question marks. I don't know. I feel like we should explore those. But at the same time, I kind of want to follow the story and maybe loop back to uncover the artifacts and stuff. Because some of these might be more d paths that we can't get into. Like we're going to have to come back this way anyway. But on the other hand, what if it's stuff that I want to unlock before moving on? decisions but yeah quick travel from a campfire so let's go to the campfire let's mark the campfire so i can get there easier we could also just use a 
a kit. Oh, good, the door's open. Never mind. I was gonna say, I find my way back out of here. That's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, considering the front door is open now. <laughs> I did something. I wonder if I like hit a button that I shouldn't have because it just feels like I'm way far off to her side compared to normal. Where's the controls? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's like I can't walk straight. Like, I feel like the camera is off to the side too far. And I'm wondering if, like, that is a button that I somehow activated accidentally. Because I'm doing a lot of uh, accidental button pushing. I don't see a thing for it. I don't know. It's see Like, it feels off. And I feel like... I only played Fallout in between. Like, I've played a bunch of this. Like, five episodes before now. And for some reason, this feels different. Like, it feels like I'm too far to the right. The camera's too far over. Um, But I don't see that being a button I might have panic clicked. Because, yeah, there's a lot of button flailing. <laughs> There's a lot of button flailing, but do you guys, do you notice it as, I mean, I feel like I'm running into stuff more. But yeah, I don't see a button that would have done that. Uh, display. Oh, it wouldn't be a graphic. Uh, do, do, do. Camera positioning, left aligns, dynamic. It's either dynamic or always on the left side of the screen. No, it wouldn't really make sense, but there are some games that do that where like you can change your view and rotate it between like over your left shoulder or over your right shoulder or first person. There's a button that rotates those things. That's what I was imagining. It's like a button that rotates like which shoulder you're looking over. What does dynamic look like? I don't notice a difference. I want the gun. I have nothing to do with the gun. I probably shouldn't mess with things. Like, let's let's not do that. Left aligned. I don't know. I think it's like in this, like right here in this moment, we're not running down the middle of the screen. Maybe it's the fallout in the middle that's making this seem so weird. But, like, we're not running down the middle. We're running down the left side of the screen. Maybe it's always like that. I don't know why it feels so off to me right now. Campfire's this way. I just have to readjust. Uh, this is the campfire that's up the hill, right? Yeah. Just casually jump across some rapids. It's fine. All right, let's hop up. We're going to quick travel over to the... Let's start with the ruin. It's very windy right now. Yeah, we're in a windy spot. Let's go do this one right here that has a campfire right next to it.
It does seem weird, right, Lily? Yeah, it's, it's like I can't remember if it's always been like that and I'm just now noticing for some reason. <laughs> it probably has. Like, there's probably no change and for some reason tonight it's just messing with me. All right, so where is this ruin? Well, let's just mark it. That'll help. I'm too close to the destination. I'm facing it. Okay, so it's literally this. An old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. What? You check the previous Horizon stream and something is different. We're not normally this far to the to the side. Okay, let's see what we can find around here. I mean, I can put it on dynamic, but even on dynamic, I didn't notice a difference. Like, I didn't see anything change. I appreciate the validation, though, Ricky, that I'm not crazy and I, I am, like, way off to the side. <laughs> How would I have done that, though? I wonder if it's just the game being weird. Yeah, see, I don't see a difference in dynamic camera. All right, so we've got to get in here. How do I get to it? Gather the ornament. Uh, access console, vent panel. This one's very dusty. We're gonna need a minute to assess the puzzle. First we loot. Yeah, it's only left in dynamic, which is weird. I switched to dynamic, which is what it is now, but I don't know. Yeah, this I didn't see anything different. Have I tried restarting it? I mean, I could. We could restart real quick. Or I could just adjust. <laughs> Sometimes it's the mouse wheel. Oh, mouse wheel just rotates through the weapons. Which actually I didn't know, so that was handy. <laughs> Okay, can we... It's definitely contributing to, like, why I'm having a harder time walking through these things. And, like, my extra bad aim in the fights. Okay, so I can't reach... Okay. I keep forgetting I can't double jump in this game. Double jump is uh, is actually glide. You can use the pull caster to pull certain objects. Yeah, I knew that. This crate might be useful. But I can also just pull this one. Nope. Okay, I don't want to be backing. I want to do it this way so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, what did that get for me? Oh, I can go this way. Red crystals growing on the wall. Huh. I don't think there's anything I can do about them. These red crystals are in all of the locations that I can't get through. All of the spots that I can't access yet. Well, without a way to get through those red crystals, there's not much I can do. I better move on for now. Oh, okay. We can't do this one, I guess. She just said we should move on since there's nothing we can do about the red crystals. Unless... I mean, do you think that meant, like, move on with the puzzle? It feels like it means that we can't complete this one. Because, yeah, this just goes in a circle. The 
Looks like this door is locked. Maybe there's another way in. I just want to look around and make sure I'm not missing something obvious, but based on what she just told us. Oh, uh, thought maybe I could make that jump. I want the loot. Can I get the loot? There we go. Almost hit me in the head, but didn't. <laughs> Almost hit me, but didn't. All right, so let's leave this one here for now then. Now we know there's more red crystals here. Has to be a way to get rid of this. Special gear required to clear. Okay, yeah, so we just need to make note of that for future reference. So we can't finish this one. Um, so let's go try this one up here. Which means going to... Either Plainsong or this campfire. Probably this campfire and going straight across. We might run into some not great stuff. But, uh... It'll be fine. <laughs> hey, Chef, good to see you. Yeah, Z and X rotate through these bottom things at the at the like our health potions and stuff. I'm trying like I was trying to hit all of the things that might have been in range of me to accidentally hit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And I don't I don't know about you guys, but I haven't noticed a difference in dynamic camera, so I don't even know what that means. I do want to try really quickly and just restart. Just to see if it changes anything. Really quickly. I hate like jumping out of a game midstream. But I just want to see if it adjusts itself. This is not a game that takes very long to load up. And if it doesn't, we'll just deal. Maybe never know what we did wrong. The game has had a couple oddities. So if this is just another oddity in the game, we'll get used to it. It's definitely an excuse for my bad combat. <laughs> Not that I need an excuse. I own that. Yeah, it's the same. We're definitely like walking way to the left of the screen. All right. Uh, quick travel. We tried. Um, let's go. First of all, we're going to activate this one. You know what? Let's let's go through plain song. And then we'll uncover some stuff along the way. Maybe like maybe we'll come do this campfire. Light is worse here. If I don't find a Gaia backup, it'll be like this everywhere. Oh, we have a. There's something you should know, Outlander. That's a bit of an exaggeration. I wish I had tougher skill with a bow. Keep your guard up if you're heading southwest of Plainsong. We've had reports of Tanakh rebels in the area. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. Is this the same rumor we listened to the last time? Sounds like the Utaro could use some backup against Tanakh rebels. We seem more in the middle now, though. Hey, wait. We're back in the middle. Did talking to that person and sitting down reset it? As I kind of think it did. We're back in the middle of the screen. 
Am I running in a circle? I kind of am running in a circle. All right, it's fine. Okay, well, that works. This already feels much better. Things are good. This looks much less weird. <laughs> I don't really want to go the direct route though, actually. Let's um let's go do this campfire. And then from there we'll do this campfire. So yeah, we're gonna run here and then we'll go from here to here and then we'll go do that. It's set on the west coast so i don't know exactly which part of that we're in at this point we were starting like from the grand canyon and the rockies and then making our way all the way to the west i have no idea where we technically are in that process right now but there is a lot of biome variety here They really are having a rough time. I know that was in the story that their crops are all dying and... Oh, I bet that's a... Oh, I was going to say, that's probably a vantage point, but then I saw the, the windmills. Looks so cool, though. All right. Oh, I'm on the wrong arrows for this. Those are the expensive arrows. <laughs> I need to be using the cheap arrows. Hey, Daryl, Google search as A or D while moving. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if it's when we loot something or save, because look, I'm back on the left. Was it the save that did it? Yeah, I mean, A or D while well, moving just kind of... It's it's WASD control, so I'm just kind of moving when I do that. But I think it was the quick save, because it's I'm back to the left again. Huh. Weird. Well, that was short-lived. <laughs> oh, when I use my bow to aim... Oh, is it when I aimed at something? Yeah, aiming puts me back to the left. Weird. I wonder if that's a bug. If it's a bug or a feature. I feel like aiming made sense. We always kind of shifted to the left when we were aiming, but for it not to go back to normal? I wonder if that is a bug. Fire's not going to help here. All right. These guys are weak against frost. Which we have. It sounds like a bug, right? We've had some challenges with the PC release. They've had a couple hot fixes already. I don't know. Maybe a hot fix broke something else. All right. I don't know where the bird went, but we're just going to stay on task because I thought maybe there'd be grass. Found the bird. <laughs> going to keep going this way. Oh, there you are. I'll take my chances. I feel like what I really need to be doing is hitting them with the frost arrow. Uh oh. Uh oh. What are you weak against? 
shock. I don't have a weapon for that. But I can knock off your components. I gotta be better about switching mid combat. No, my loot's floating away. Because really what I gotta do is hit him with a frost arrow, then switch to like a stronger tear arrow or something and do it that way instead of just locking in and hitting them with a bunch of frost ammo and wasting it. Another suggestion is to try to use the focus to recenter. What's that? It's very red and it's not on the map. Is it a machine? Okay, we're going to go save and then I'm going to go look and see what that is. Yeah, focus didn't seem to do it. Because the focus pushes us, it's like aiming, it pushes us all the way to the left. What is that? Is that a hippo? I think that's a hippo. It is, it's doing the thing where it spits the stuff off its back. What's the red light? Okay, there's a thing there, but I can't see what it is. Shoot the squirrel on the way by. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a person. I can't override that black line yet. I need more points to fix the data I have. Stand up! <laughs> I just realized that this one we did on the we did the um we did the cauldron for this one too and it said that we can't do it yet the explodey spears are really good for that so the red lights were traps that these guys set they were hunting it. Hey, it's got good to see you. <laughs> it's only a hippo, not a hungry, hungry one. <laughs> tear arrows are really good. And I don't even have any like legitimate tear arrows right now. Just the these ones here. The regular like slicing arrows. I miss my tear arrows. Remember the ones that did like the shock, the extra like shock that would knock pieces off? Those are my favorite. It does make me wonder now what we did get from that cauldron. Um, Unlocked. Okay. So if we go to like the... The wide maw partially unlocked. Which were the other ones? We could do the scrounger. That one is still locked, partially unlocked. So, yeah, some of them take more than one cauldron, I guess. That's interesting. Mountable machine. I'm gonna ride around on one of these raptors eventually. Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta use this thing. Tear shredders or just shredders. These do the extra tear damage. Yeah, we need to find something to use that against. 
Like maybe you. I'll take you on. Okay, so I'm supposed to catch it. Move into the path of the returning shredder to catch it. Okay. It ran away. I've never had them run away. We killed that from a really long way. All right, let's go get our thing. All right, so I did not catch it. You're going to step back into its path. Gonna be hard for me to manage mid um mid fight to try to like step into the path of something and capture it thank you rob good to see you so much winning oh tell your dad i said hi rob yeah that little shreddy thing scared it i've never had them run away oh yeah we're supposed to be going here I got distracted. Is there like a camp up here though? It doesn't show on the map. Or are they just guarding like a fence? You should stay away, visitor. The air is rife with life here. Oh, can we talk to you and maybe that'll reset me? Greeting, stranger. No. A fresh wind blows in your way. Okay. They're fighting something over there. All right, focus. We're here to do the thing. I can see the locked door symbol all the way from here. Sure you can, Pacific. I say hi to your dad, too. An old world ruin. Might be the one that Utaru and Plainsong told me about. Let's see if there's anything useful inside. I do find combat in this one to be more complicated than the first one. Okay. What's in here? And the wonky controls do not help. Can I reach that? I'm making good nope. use of this. That, that, again, two jumps is gliding. All right, got a data thing. This data might help. Daniel, thanks again for watering my plants while I'm out. Not everyone understands that I don't want to leave them to the bots. Cleaning and resupplying the station are one thing, but like you said, the living should be cared for by the living. I've set the entry code to the year the station was built. Oh, and please don't leave my dragon plant out in the sun for too long. Okay, entry code is the year the station was built, but it doesn't tell us what that is here. Nope, nope, wrong button. I gotta get a feel for the place. Alright, there's a rope we can cut across. It's gonna take us there to a door that we can't get through. And that is the access point on the other side. Nope. There we go. Interesting. Uh, construction year. How long have you been with us again? Knowing the year the facility was built isn't exactly a prerequisite for someone in your position. But have you ever looked at the exterior of the station? It's hard to miss. Take a few minutes right now to familiarize yourself with the building. It's a historical landmark for a reason. Then go water the plants, please. This could help. Oh, okay. Looks like this door needs some kind of key module to open. Better search the ruin. It's not just the code. It's a key. We actually need a key oh. module. All right, but that means that somewhere near the entrance is going to be... 
1623. That's what I'm seeing here. I hope that that's it. An ancient rail cart. Huh. I wonder if it can still move. I'm guessing that that was a pretty big hint from Aloy. Okay. Come on. Can I actually get on top of it? There we go. I like this one. Let me go grab this gem. There's some kind of relic in that room. How do I get in there? Gather the ornament. Okay, so the ornament's over here. Oh, it was a hotel. I assumed the ornament was on the other side. A relic. Wonder how I can get in there to get it. The key module's right there. There it is. Okay, so the key module's there at the end of this rope. So somehow we've got to get up there. I can't make this jump. Oh, can I bring the car? Hmm. The tracks also go this way. So I oh, wonder long. if I can bring it over there, then switch the track. There looks like there's a, a rail switch. Yeah. What does this switch do? Change to the straight track. Like the switch controls the tracks. Perfect. Okay, now we can push it over there so we can get up to the rope. I know, right? This is so rusty. The fact that she's pushing it around seems a little crazy. There. Move this over here. Here we go. A key module. Perfect. All right, so now that will unlock that door. Then we can shimmy across that rope and get to the other side. All right, that's not too bad. Except that kind of hurt a bit. Okay. Here we go. Then over here. She's so fancy now, like, she has to do, like, circles as she leaps between things. There we go. Oh, enter code. We're gonna go with 1623. I think I found some data in the ruin that might help. Well, that didn't work. Oh. Was that not the number? Scan data points. Nope. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of this? Nope. No, really, like, I can't... <laughs> I can't get out of this. Yeah. 
I'm literally clicking every button. Am I missing it? I don't see anything on the screen that is like an exit from the thing. I tried escape. That's how I get to this. Like, escape is the pause menu. I really thought it was going to be the numbers on the thing. It's a it's a year. It can't be 8008. <laughs> Ryan got stuck in the same place. Do you know how he fixed it? No, I tried tab two. Tab brings you to the map. I've tried all of the direction keys. I've things. tried aiming my yeah. weapon. I tried F to change my weapon. I'm I'm stuck in this in this thing. Oh, maybe it's 1923. The six fell down. There we go. Ah, that's what it was. That's what it was. The six fell down. It wasn't a six. It was a nine. In hindsight, 1623 really made no sense whatsoever. Okay, yeah, there's it's the rope above us. 1623 really didn't make any logical sense for when this building would have been built. Okay, so that's not it. I thought maybe that was going to be the kind of rope that I could scan down, but really I think it's the kind of rope I need to walk on. So how did opening this door benefit me? It does look like the kind of rope I would ride down. There we go. I just missed. Okay. Where to now? Okay. I don't I don't know how we would have gotten out of that though if I hadn't figured out the code while we were stuck in it. Oh. Wait, do we need the train car in here? Red crystals. Don't think I can get rid of them. I think we do. I need the train car to get up high enough to do any of this. Because everything else here without a way to get through those red crystals. Yeah. I guess I should come back later. All right. So both of these puzzles. Well, how do I get? Oh wait. How do I get out of here now? Okay. This is a flaw. Am I trapped? Oh, can I get back up here? Okay. Yep, I can get back up here. This just doesn't do me any good once I'm up here. Or maybe it does. No, it definitely doesn't. <laughs> okay, so both of these ruins we need to come back once we can actually do them. Hey, Demon King, good to see you. So we tried both of these. Both of these. Yep. Block path. Did it actually say block path on this one? Yes, it did. Okay, good. All right. So the map will show us in case we forget. Hey, Steph. Good to see you. All right. So now what do we want to do? We've got some... I mean, there's a lot of un map to uncover. There's a lot of unknown spots we can run around. But I feel like more and more we're going to end in these blocked paths. We've got this uh, rebel outpost, but there's one right here closer to us. Uh, there's a couple of unknown things right near us, actually. Let's see what this one is. Is that the only thing near us? I mean, there's a bunch more along the, the edge. Let's try this one. Let's just check out some... Uh, some points of interest while we're running around. We unlocked the spots though, and we did all like the preliminary puzzle work, so that's good. We will need to fight all of these guys. And I think these are fire ones. A little far out of range. Those two are acid. Oh no, it's a fire one. I 
love that weapon skill. I love it so much. It's so good. I need more weapon skills and I need to upgrade my stamina regeneration rate. Like we took out two of those things. Huh? In one shot. I did this. Halt. Uh -oh. Time to engage. There. Oh, Let's these go. are bad guys. Uh, what? Okay. Well, that was unexpected. I thought you were my friends. You're going down. All right, I could run back and start. I helped you kill those things. Wait, wrong weapon. I thought you were my friends. That was my mistake. We're not friends. Now I lost any chance of a stealthy attack at this place. Now you bleed. Yep. Now the machines are after me. Be really nice if that blew up right next to you and killed you right now. Perfection. That's exactly what happens. Where are you? There you are. Your target practice. Am I? Or are you target practice? Because you look target practicey. I don't know why I just took an extra shot there. Oh, there you are. Like who's shooting me now? Oh, relief. Okay. That was terrible. <laughs> that was terrible. It's all excited about my skill and killing these guys and helping the random people. And they turned on me. Just for that, killing the sheep. Oh yeah, I haven't used my food at all. Okay. So the question mark uh, on the map was another rebel... Actually, it looks like a uh, like a gate to the other side of the map. See, I mean, like, there must be more people inside. I'll have these for these soon enough. You don't necessarily... Yeah, there's people right there. I see you. You're a little too far away, but I can see you. This, this is a... I mean, this is the whole wall. It's like a border wall. It's a border wall. Yeah, scan them. The yellow ones are rebels. They were so far away. Like, they were too far away for me to even see the people. Or I didn't pay attention to the people. I'm just so used to dealing with the other ones that I assumed. And that was my mistake. Even right here, though. We're this close. I should be able to get a scan on these people. I want to kill that owl. Did 
they run up to this it. This must be the end of No Man's Land and the start of Tanakh's territory. Hey! Open up! I have permission to enter from Marshal Fashav. These gates stay shut by order of Chief Akaro on account of the rebellion. No one passes into the clan lands. Not Regalus traitors, not outlanders. <sighs> okay. So much for rite of passage. I'll have to find another way in. Uh, the high turning. Okay, that's exactly what it is. It's a border wall out of no man's land. Okay. So we solved their rebel problem outside the gates. You're welcome. <laughs> it is still weird, though, that it wouldn't let me scan the good guys. Wrong button. Um, okay, so that leaves maybe this one. Let's go see what that is. gonna explore around i feel like we're probably pretty much done in no man's land let's try this again i'm determined to get this to work missed that was pretty good that worked pretty good because we had like the time and space to uh catch the stuff i wonder what this shrine is for how much i can do about those vines for now that actually come back to me like through the wall we're in a dead end this is not great not ideal fighting conditions where's the other one yeah so this is another can't do it yet we're gonna have a lot of backtracking to do we're off 100 components. That was our new achievement. The only reason we could catch that thing is because it was so calm. Like, nothing was actively coming after me. Otherwise, there's no way I would have judged it correctly. Okay, so whatever's back there, obviously we're not going to be able to get to. That looks like a pain in the butt to get to. Uh, drum root was that one. Let's see what this is. Uh, this way. All right, so we're gonna, we'll hunt for things, we'll gather things, we'll kill things on the way, which will give us um, uh, shards. Probably go check for upgrades. On, oh, you, you got stuck on a tree. I was trying to anticipate its movement and it got stuck on a tree. I couldn't even see that. That was such a lucky shot. Any other cute little animals that we need to murder? I'll get my kit dry at least. <laughs> when you put it like that, Chef Aloy, I have to save the world. Nature's falling apart. Murders every animal and uproots every plant she comes across. <laughs> When you say it like that, it does sound pretty bad. That was a pigeon.
Go kill the sheep. I don't even know if I need sheep for anything in particular. There's a loot crate over here. And we do need loot. Always. Ooh, I'm out of ammo. I need three sheep to make a bed. Oh, that's Minecraft. I love it. All right, so we need to kind of go across this. Oh. Sheep went over the hill. Oh, it went over the hill again. Okay. Uh. Fall the river down. Can I jump my way over there? Probably not. We're gonna glide though. Is this easy? Yeah. Every game needs a glider. I did call it a sheep. I didn't call it a goat. Acid can canister burrowers and chargers. That's what that noise was. They make such sad death noises. I don't know what animals I need right now. I know I need prairie dogs for something, but we haven't come across those yet. Oh, I missed a bird. There's a raccoon right there. And right there. Yeah, we are decimating the local wildlife populations for sure. I think that metal tower is giving off the signal. Oh. I could head over there. Check it out. Is this going to be another, um, another vantage thingy? An image of the old world. Huh. Kind of looks like plain song and some kind of metal structure. All right, so does the perspective? It's usually like near here, right? Where is plain song? Lane Song is off in this direction. But it does say it could have been taken anywhere up there. What does it look like again? That's like those two towers. That's a big bird. And a little mouse. An owl. And a brown rat. I wish I could be a good shot against the machines. I'm a pretty good shot against the wildlife. But put me in machine combat and it's just like panic clicking. Because yeah, the two metal things definitely look like they would be these. That HM lookout seems promising. I could try to line up the image from there. But yeah, we need to be... Taller. Further back from it. Have a good night, Mozzie!
Oh, there's a bird there. The angle's wrong. The angle is very wrong. We're like too close to it. I need to be further back. Cause this looks right. Oh, I've been spotted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, the chargers all moved on. Let's go loot this one. I know, right? Super nice of that bird to just sit there and wait for me. Um, I'm gonna have to kill these guys too. Gotta be ready. We were almost too high up. I will I will kill you. Nope. We're too Are we still too low? Like maybe we need to be w all the way up there? Isn't that where we were, though? Oh, I thought we were leaping to our death just then, but nope. Because the problem is now these are pretty decent distance apart. But it's not the right angle. The dishes are over that way. Unless I'm looking at the wrong two posts. Which I guess is possible if I'm supposed to be looking at like there. these two. Ah! Listen. Do you mind? I'm gonna fall off this thing. It's like right here. No, it felt like we were closer down here. You said I was close. That's true. These windmills do have that. Good to see you, DBS girl. They do have two legs. And that one only has one leg, but that one has two legs. All right, let's get all the way to the top. For perspective, if nothing else. No, can we... Okay, we're just... We're just gonna keep going in circles like this? There we go. Thank you. 
No? Still no? <laughs> it's a miracle she survives. Campfire right there. Angle doesn't look right. Maybe I'm too high up? Yeah, okay. See, now she's giving me hints. We're too high up. Let's go save at this campfire. <laughs> it makes sense it would be from a man-made surface. I mean, her initial tip was the lookout, which is why I was running around on this thing. I was trying to glide, but I forgot to hold the button. <laughs> Which is why I was, like, running around on this when she said the lookout point. Don't fall off the edge, please. And we're close. Pretty sure I'm close. Like, super close. It's like right there. But not right on the... And that's kind of why I thought it would be up there, but... Up there is too high. We're so close on the angle. Hey, Jelana, good to see you. This is nearly perfect. When we were down there, we were too low. I wonder if it was... No, because this lookout was the wrong angle. This spot was just... blatantly the wrong... Well, was it the wrong angle? Did we actually listen to this? Oh no, we can't because the it brings up the picture. Trying to line it up with that one. Feels like this way. When I finally get this, it's going to be so obvious and I'm going to be like, oh. I think I'm getting close. Okay. I mean, she's telling us we're close. Can't really jump or do anything in this. The angle's just a little bit off, which is what makes me feel like we need to be over here, but that's too high. We need like a middle ground. <laughs> The only times she's told me that we're close have been when we're standing here. Angle's just ever so slightly off. I d yeah, I need a more medium-y spot. I think I'm almost in the right spot. <laughs> we 
We almost have it, according to Aloy and her random hints. <laughs> a much harder time with this one than the last one. The last one was just pretty clearly a bridge, you know? Alright, where else could we even go from here? Knowing that that's too high. And this is too far over. Whoa, okay. Angle on this was just completely off. Pretty sure I'm close. I really wish you could be more helpful than that. It's like we're too close. If I go any higher, then we're too high. Can we get further back? No, because the only further back is up there where she said that's too high. This one's, this one's, ah. Uh. Oh, machine's on to me. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Yeah, we stood kind of on the charger. This one we're looking at. I'm gonna fall off this cliff. <laughs> Angle is just like the, the tiniest bit off. But coming out to this side of it. too far up that way. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to actually fall off of it. I study my breath. Think about what's next. I'm almost there. Okay. This side angle, they don't line up. But from this side of it, she talks about being really close. But yeah, I don't think we're going to get it standing on the side of a mountain.
Because the other one we had to be standing on the bridge. Like the picture was taken from the bridge. So I think we do have to be on. Oh, here we go. Don't line up from here. Oh. Okay, we're apparently just gonna fall off. That's that's risky. Yeah, now they're just way off. Now it's like we're too low again. I think I'm almost in the right spot. Halo, you're killing me with this. With the almost in the right spots. <laughs> okay, we've we've literally tried this piece of it. This piece of it can back up a little bit. We can be on this side of it. Okay, can we... We're so close. I just levitate. Like, we have to be to the edge or we won't see the... I think I'm getting close. Aloy, now you're just annoying. <gasps> nope. <laughs> we jumped up on the rock. I really can't see where else on this piece of man-made structure we could be standing... That would be any different. It is like a little bit the wrong angle. If I'm trying to look at, like, line up the top of it. But that's, I mean, that's really close. That is really, really close. Pretty sure I'm close. But we know that we're close. We could be here all night. <laughs> the rest of the stream, just this. If we can get this one lined up, but that one's not lined up with it. Unless it's, we're looking at the wrong. Maybe daylight will help. We've been doing this in the dark. I'm trying to use... The pole, which makes the most sense. I think I'm almost in the right spot. 
It, it, we're like right there. Do we need to back up more? Come forward more? We can't go down the hill because then we lose... The image all together. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Aloy, do not leap off the cliff. We're, like, right here. Like, it's right here. This is so finicky. I think I'm getting close. I know you think you're getting close, but, like... Like, how close? It's like right here, but then that doesn't line up anymore. Try to move with that open is also really not easy. That's what I keep there trying to. Oh, really? What? What? <laughs> Okay. It was right here. I swear we stood here. Maybe I was walk like we walked all back and forth here. All right, whatever. <laughs> I liked these in the other game better where they had audio. Like this is a cool picture, but in the first game, it was like a little audio story for all of them. Oh yeah, the note. Thank you. I was about to leave without the note. Oh, chef, that was such a perfectly timed comment because I was about to jump. Lost treasures of the Indian Ocean. August 4th, 2051. Below the skids of our vert stretches nothing but open futureless water. Uh, this area of the sea was once home to 200 islands, rich with sea life. They were a playground of the famous and wealthy. Seconds after we drop a submersible drone, holographic underwater images fill the vert's main cabin. From the drone's perspective, we see all that has been lost to the waves. Drowned concrete resorts bordered by white bleached structures. The remnants of the once colorful, vibrant living reefs that brought tourists to the Maldives. Here and there, we can see life still clinging on, but with rising seas, acidity increases... And the loss of the currents that once brought nutrition to these mid-ocean rocks. This haven of life has dwindled to a shadow of what it once was. Are these lost treasures of the Pacific gone forever? Ishalagri of the Trans-Indian Aquatic Development Center doesn't think so. As she sees it, the first step in bringing life back to the reefs is to envision what they once were. Hence the images I see before me now. Near barren underwater rocks suddenly bursting with a rainbow of holographic plants and animals. As a brilliant orange clownfish swims past my nose, she describes her project as both a window into the past and a guide to the future. She hopes that with time, effort, and new advances in cloning and transplanting, perhaps one day, both here and in oceans around the world, life can data corrupted. What a weird place for an ocean, lore note. That's a heck of a view, though. Now that I'm not frustrated by scanning, look at that view. All right. Uh, there's apparently a rebel camp, like, right here. Uh, looks like it would be easiest 
to go back around the road to. Yeah. Let's go back to the campfire, first of all. I know, now back to the regularly scheduled mass murder of fluffy animals. Here we go. Let's save so I don't have to do that again. I know, we gotta find Nemo now. Alright, so now... There's still this one, too. Try to get there? Only a hundred that way, but... I guess it depends on how much of the cliff we can run on. We're gonna try it. Keep moving, keep warm. Was she cold? I don't think she actually suffers any effects from weather. Uh-oh. Careful. Careful, Aloy. Don't fall off the mountain. I swear, we have a glider in this game just because... It looks like I'm close to the locator beacon that my focus detected. The signal's coming from behind that rubble. I can get through to it. <laughs> murder! Animal murder! Save these for when I need it. Hey, Jeff, good to see you. Alright, let's see. Is that enough to get behind it? Signals coming from below that rubble over there. Black box. Go to one engine. Mountainous terrain. And you actually landed it. How did you do that? You saved our lives. Yeah. But it's what? Four hours before the swarm gets here. I should have let us all die in an instant. Now the twelve of us are trapped, waiting for the end. It must have been terrifying. Just does, waiting there for the war machines to arrive. Does sound bad. <laughs> hey, cat. Good to see There's you. Another locator beacon on the same frequency. We still have one up here. I didn't even realize we were near one right here. There's still a black box up here. All right. So, do we want to go? Let's see. We've got a question mark here. Seems like it would involve water. That looks like water. Let's go back and do this. Let's go do the rebel camp thingy. I'm making assumptions right now, but I am going to assume at this stage that anything involving water means we're going to have to dive for it. And we are beyond diving ability right now or diving ability is beyond us I should say so we're gonna head for the rebel camp I love this glider also I'm just noticing that we need some ammo refresh uh What am I up to on shards? 700? Alright, so we have enough to um, 
upgrade my bow at least once. Let's go do this. Is there a campfire near it? Not really, but when we finish this, we can go to this campfire. Although, I really just need to go here so we can run it. We can adventure walk it. We could go get this campfire first. You're going to see me, aren't you? Oh, there's three of them. Silent strike really is that silent? Wow. Silent Strike is, uh, super silent. I do have points into my melee attacks and Silent Strike's being quieter. All right, what's up there? Got some borrowers. So nothing too bad. Speaking of, I do have some points to put in. The blight is worse here. Birds. If I don't find a Gaia backup, it'll be like this everywhere. I was gonna fight some stuff over there, but I really don't want to get into it with two burrowers, a couple of birds, and some chargers all at once. Nope. <laughs> I was about to use my uh, sharp shot bow on a raccoon. <laughs> Aloy sprung for Fallout first to get a stash. I love it. I was told there'd be one here. I should find their leader. Put an end to this. I love how killing the rebels is optional. Like, I don't have to kill them. Weaklings will get what's coming to them. I know it. They're on just a charger. He's got a big gun. He's got a big gun. Now he moved. So I follow Regala. I definitely got to keep putting skills into my stamina coming back better. I want the big gun from that guy. No sign of them. The AI is so much better in this. That like the soldier with the heavy weapon. That has to be the one in charge. Where are you? Ah! There's someone! That still only did half damage. You think that could hit her? Keep still now. I have her. Oh, even the fire spear wasn't enough. Ooh, this one's got some of those tags I keep finding. Don't let her escape. I love the, the big gun. Might give me some extra firepower. 
There's one more. Where'd you go? I'm done with this. Uh I missed. There we go. All right, that was fun. I love the big guns. You better keep hoping, but that won't save you. I was too far away. Give it to me straight. This is taking too long. Nothing here either. When I find you, death won't come quick. I was too far away, even for my sharp shot bow. You in here? yelling to i'm pretty sure you're the only one She's left nope i was wrong there's another one right above me were you there the whole time this is getting tiresome <laughs> were you up there the whole time oh there you are Much better. Oh, my health. I was about dead and didn't even notice. All right, where's the other one shooting at me from? There's still one that was shooting arrows at me. There you are. of plain song. The rebels must be keeping tabs on the Utaro. Just lay low. <laughs> the things I'm gonna do to you. You're literally the only one left. Like, I was hoping I could see her from up here and shoot her straight across, but I can't. Well, maybe I can. Oh yeah, there you are. Area should be safe now. Here we go. This game is so good for loot goblins or bad, depending on your perspective, because everything just goes to your stash. So, like, you literally can just loot forever. There's no, oh no, my inventory's full, or oh no, I'm encumbered. You could just loot everything. Unavailable. Really? Why? Oh, loot the outpost leader. Ah, I didn't loot him. Oh, we didn't loot him. Hey, Bran, good to see you. This look like identification tags. I've seen Snog soldiers carry them, but never this many. The rebels must have looted them from soldiers they killed. I'll keep them safe for now. Figure out what to do with them later. Alright, so this is probably what we need to loot the rest of the camps for. Now I can save here. I was so focused on the fight, I didn't even get back around to looting. <laughs>
All right. It's funny that this one... Oh, we weren't zoomed in far enough. Okay, that's why. I'm like, this one didn't even show up on the map. All right, so the other rebel outpost we know about is this one. And then this is back on the main story. We've got all these question marks up here. And then everything down along this. I'm not looking forward to the Thunderjaw thing. That seems like no fun. There's a hunter down here, a hunter store. So this campfire has a a merchant with it. It really does have a good open world. Squirrel. Let's go do this one. So let's go here. Did I wait? Did I do fast travel on this? Okay. Yeah, we did. Okay. I just like panicked for a second. We want to go. Nope. Here. Yes. Yeah, we don't have ice yet for our um, trip caster. We have shock and fire. And that is unfortunately it. Uh, okay, so we want to turn this off. I don't need that marker there. We're also not doing this. We are doing this. Oh, but we have a workbench. Ah, oh, yay. Let's do our upgrades. Weapon upgrade. Where is my... Uh... Whisper Hunter bow. I got another weapon. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> we picked this up somewhere. Whisper Hunter bow for extra stealth damage. Uh, but I do not need another dedicated Hunter bow. I need to upgrade my Sharp Shot bow. Perfect. Bellowback Sack Webbing. Yeah, the, the amount of weapons and clothes that just appear in this game, I mean, I clearly loot them, but I'm not going to lie. When I loot these things, I very rarely read what I'm getting. I'm just, I, I hit the loot thing and I move on and I have no idea what I'm looting. It's kind of bad. <laughs> I don't think we've come across any Bellowbacks yet. Okay, um, what do we need for our pouch upgrades? Pelican feathers, rabbit and peccary, horned lizard and goose, rabbits, horned lizard, peccary and prairie dog, vulture and horned lizard, vulture, jay feathers, peccary and rabbit, and prairie dog and rabbit. Okay, so it's, it's all pretty much the same stuff. That's true, Bran. I do have a, a bad habit of looting during combat. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's do a restock real quick, too. How much did that say? Yeah, we have 200 health berries, 137 meat, 900 wood. We're not running out of stuff anytime too soon. All right. So rebel camp things right there. Let's prepare ourselves to start with a good opening shot. All right. Let's see. We've got you. You. No, come on. Not the corruptor. I want the person. There 
There is somebody up there. And you are on the machine. Is there anybody in that tower? Not sure I could get over there fast enough, but it would be cool to get up into that tower and then shoot them from above. Could probably do it if I did my stealth thingy and then ran over there. Although, whichever one is the leader is going to have a heavy gun and they're just going to shoot at me. So being up there with nowhere to hide, probably not a great idea. I love that you can do that stuff. Yeah, you can create a job for the stuff you're missing. Such a good addition in this one. Do I want to do it? Do I want to try to do it? Pretty sure that's the leader over there. Nope. Oh no, it is, because now it says loot the outpost leader. really love the AI. The fact that they get back on their mounts is so good. Ah, they need help. I'm out of the ammo. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, that was such a good headshot. That was such a good headshot. Is that everything? The rebels have been digging up corruptors. Probably to make override modules. We didn't kill their machine. I wonder if that's why it's still showing an optional to kill them all. <laughs> Let's just start looting and see what happens. Corruptors. Looks like they've been stripped for parts. Oh, yep, that's probably why. They know I'm here. Coast is clear. Let's hope it stays that way. Aha! Key. I should check if there's anything with a lock around here. Find a use for the key. I love getting my hands on the big gun. Machine salvage. Probably for weapons and armor. Bet I can open that chest with this key I found. These look like identification tags. I've seen Tanakh soldiers carry them, but never this many. The rebels must have looted them from soldiers they killed. I'll keep them safe for now. Figure out what to do with them later. Alright, yeah, so we are still collecting those. Come up here for this loot. If that lookout sees me, they'll alert the others. I need to be careful. What others? We killed everybody. There's no one left. All right, let's see. Take some health. 
And then grab one of these. Could have extra. Okay, so where does that leave us? Now we did that. Let's go see what this is. Uh, that's the death store thing. Oh, no, oh, that's the de oh, okay. That's the Thunderjaw site. All right, well, we'll sneak up to it. Can I bring the big gun with me? It's got 56 shots left. We're going to we're going to take this with us. Is it right there? Thunderjaw. I hate the Thunderjaws. Is it just the one of them? What is that? It's some kind of drone. Is it watching over this area? Might have some useful data. But how to get up there? Weak to acid. Okay. All right. We need to do it. So we'll start off by hitting it with our 56 shots of this. Then we will go to then we'll go to acid. And then go from there. Good night, Rob. Time to leave it. Oh, that didn't do very much damage. not going to go well. Okay. It's just a... Just going to stay out of its way. Ah! Hit the wrong button! Uh-oh. Ah, uh, yeah, the laser thing. We need to knock out more of his weapons. Oh, I died. <laughs> I died. Hey, Josh. Yeah, maybe this time we grab... Wait, what? Did I just respawn? I did. I respawned at my campfire, still carrying the big gun. And now that rebel camp is full of the kangaroos. All right, well. At least I still have the big gun. <laughs> what on earth? All right, the downside is I think we need to get back over there, but that's probably going to put us way too close to the kangaroos. Because if I had some traps, I mean, I could tr throw down my tripwire. I'd have to switch back to my tripwire. Really, what I need to try to do... Is see... Like, ideally, we should have tried to That's knock off... Damage. At least one of its weapons, you know? While we still could. Oh yeah, maybe we go for the weapons? 
that still doesn't work. It, it is very hard to aim this. Okay, that did good damage. Did I just miss with both of those? I totally did. try to stay ahead of it. Stamina yet. There we go. All right. Oh. Okay, better. Uh oh. The way it switches weapons on you. Hit it with some more acid. My stamina back yet? Nope. Definitely need to invest in that faster stamina regeneration. We did knock out one of its weapons. Felt that. that was another one. I bet. There we go. Yay! We did it! You know what I bet I could have done? Was the, um... The... Fire spear thing probably would have helped. It really worked that he couldn't come in and melee me and we could hide behind that rock. So this was a much better position. Alright, so now we need to grab the drone? Somehow? How do we do that? Retrieve the drone. Just say, scan it. Try to climb up here and see what's up there. He's got a lot of weapons. Gotta bring the drone down to grab its data. Maybe if I jump onto it? Can we jump onto it? Huh? 
Yeah, I guess we're just gonna wait for it to come close to us. And then leap of faith it. Taking you with me! Ha! I should grab the drone's data now that it's down. Uh recovered five different collectibles was the achievement there. Find a place to connect the drone module. Uh. Uh. We used used to be connected to something, but what? Find a place to connect the drone module. I was kind of hoping it would put it on the map for me, but I think it's going to be more of a mystery than that. It was a very redneck move, wasn't it? There's a platform up there with loot on it. But is it just a plant? I think maybe it's just a plant. Okay, that might be main story locked. Okay, yeah, that might be why it's not giving me any kind of hint on the thing. All right, cool. Well, we got it. So that was that question mark. Do we want to go do these ones? We're already over here, so we could, like, loop these ones... Let's do this campfire first. I feel like this stream is going to be entirely exploring and doing all these things. And then next time we'll be totally ready to jump back on the main story. We've done a lot of like offhand adventuring and leveling too. We are up to level 19. I bet we can be level 20 before we continue the story. What sensed me? Shock's not gonna help me here. Oh. A kangaroo. That fox did not want to die. Honestly though, all this wildlife is wildlife I don't need. I wonder if it'll come back around that I'll need it again. Um, we need to make more of these. And then I need to make more of these. And these. And these. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. No, I saw it go red and I was like, wait, what am I out of? I just can't. I can't craft more. I got it. <laughs> I am back. Up. That's so true, Bran. This was my Red Dead Redemption 2 path. <laughs> like a, a stream of story and then a stream of like shenanigans and then a stream of story and then a stream of squirrels. That's so true. Games like this just kind of work out that way with my time frame. With the amount of time that I have to stream, it kind of works out perfectly. Because this game is just like that one. I don't want to just rush through the story. I could. I could just like power through. And rush through the story, right? But then I'm not leveled and I don't get to play with all the stuff and find all the cool things like Corpses. Huh. This the note mentions a Banuk. That had visions after drinking machine oil. Sounds familiar. Huh? Guess it didn't work out for these Osirum. I love how she recaps it. So like if you don't want to actually come read the whole thing, she gives you a little recap of what it is. An oil stained journal filled with messy scrawled glyphs. So there we were, picking our way along the trail when we saw him, a Banuk shaman, in the Forbidden West. A sight as strange as a car just swinging a hammer, but that wasn't where the strangeness ended. Oh no, this Banuk was kneeling beside a bristleback carcass, slurping its oil, as a man dying of thirst laps up a puddle. And here I thought the Tanakh were the crazy blood drinkers. And that's when he noticed us, a smile on his stained lips, oil streaks running down his chin, kept muttering some nonsense about machine dreams and visions, and then he shouted he had to keep running to the place of flame and brine, wherever that is. And then off he scattered, quick as a startled rabbit. So tonight, we downed six rounds of Spitfire Ale when Vogert brought out a heavy flask, machine oil slicked down its side. 
Now I'm as sensible as any other of my kinsmen, but I wasn't about to back down from a dare that left that soft-welded bolt brain think he's made of tougher stuff. Ugh, gut won't stop aching. Better sleep it off. Everybody else passed out already. Who knows? Maybe they're dreaming of ravagers dancing in a meadow. Oof, gotta remember to punch Vogard in the morning. Right where it counts. They poisoned themselves with oil. That's terrible. That is terrible. All right, so now we want to see what this is. Looks like a building. These foxes have terrible survival instincts. The fact that I can just run up on them. Probably bad. All right, so, oh, that's a lot of fire. And it's kind of where we're going. Let's climb the mountain. out of the trees i need to see what's happening this is this is terrible okay nope acid ammo will make this go quick a ravager grapper all right so whatever's here is very well guarded The Ravagers are the worst, but if I can get my hands on his cannon, then it's not so bad. Hey, Luna, it's good to see you. Hey, Shannon, you're just telling someone you like how I do all the side quests? That's good. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> There's so much to experience beyond the main game. I'm glad you guys are here for it and that it doesn't annoy you. <laughs> We need his cannon, and I don't know if, if I have an arrow. I guess maybe if I did this one? We don't have a specific tear arrow yet. I could try to do one of my tear shredders. I wonder though, like, can I aim this well enough? We're about to find out. Will it come back to me? Oh, I missed it. Ooh, we knocked the gun off. Oh, that's the Ravager, though. It's right there. But if I can get to it... We did knock the Ravager cannon off, which is my favorite way to kill them. The problem is going to be getting to it. There's no grass down there, so the second I this jump... Like some sort of old defensive outpost. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get to the grass. Yeah, we did it. Well, well, well. Okay, now we just gotta wait for him to come around the other side. I can hit the scrappers too, but... I'd rather start with the Ravager. This scrapper is going to see me first. Ah, 
Ah. He's not dead yet. There we go. Now he is. All right, that was pretty good. It only took one arrow after the cannon. If we'd let him get a little bit closer, we probably would have been okay. But hitting him from further back, we didn't do enough damage fast enough, but I like the scrapper was coming, so it worked out. Um, Is it just the one bird? I think it's just the one bird. There's loot up there. Oh, give it up already. Oh, that almost killed it. Oh no, it did kill it. Oh good. God, I love that skill. That skill is so good. All right, we're going to go get my loot, though. Come on. Nope. Just, just here. Get the bird. There we go. Okay. Now, what was the point of this place? Dread Bluff. Okay. Can go into it. The lighting on this dust is interesting. I'll keep some extra on hand. Now let's refresh our health. We can go inside. Oh yeah, look. Oh no 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 no. Okay. <laughs> this is fine. That was almost not fine. An active console. There's something jammed in it. That was so close to not being okay. An access key. It's raining hell over here, Sergeant! <sighs> Those shit, Corporal. The egghead over at Voltoffs needs our security key to get the mobile cover prototype out of here. Get to the console and get it out of here! We have a second enemy contact incoming! Another horse! Someone call it that goddamn airstrike! Sounds like I need three of these keys to get to the mobile cover system. There's coordinates for another console on file. I should check it out. Did any part of that recording say something about three keys? Because that seemed like a heck of an inference. Also, that was very startling. I did not expect that very loud. Audio to play. Did it just give me a... An actual thing for this? I don't think it did. No. confusing because that thing is always there for the um well wait did we go in the room on the other side nope come on 
no, get, okay. We'll take the stairs. We'll take the stairs. <laughs> We missed the door. Okay, that was a very narrow door hole in my defense. Wait, did I miss? It did. I'm gonna miss this loot crate right here. Terrible, it was right there. These kind of places always confuse me because everything's kind of sparkly. So everything feels really relevant. Will you stop? Do I want to be going up? I fell down. There is loot down. Oh, but also I want to go in that grate. Hmm. Okay, well, let's... Come on, can we look over there? Not what I wanted, but okay. It works. Wait, is this the same room we were just in? It is the same room we were just in. What? That was unnecessary. Oh! Hey, you know what? We're just gonna leap of faith. It's water. There's actually a lot down here. I wonder if... We need to swim for it at all, or if this is just a... A for the loot type thing. It looks like it's just for the loot type thing. Alright, so I don't know where else we haven't been then. I mean, it certainly implied that there were three more places to go. And that they would be here. Okay, this is not going stellarly for us. Falling in circles. All right, we can go. Can't go over. There we go. And then this is where we came in. But I wonder if there's more to the place other than just this elevator shaft? Kind of hard to tell because it has the look of like a, a you know, like a dungeon you'd go in, right? But it's just one elevator shaft. Unless I miss something, which, you know, is entirely possible. Oh, hello. Like there's loot in there. Oh, we missed. Here we go. I mean, it's just ancient supplies. It's not part of the actual, like, data that we need to find, but... Loot's loot! Loot is loot. I feel like I'm missing something, but we can come back to this one, I guess.
The important thing was the message. Are all the data points not in this one place? I'm gonna go to this next spot. Let's keep going around along our path. Sorry, Fox. Should have run. Ooh, loot. Alright, next stop on the path. The data points aren't all in this one spot. Okay, well then that makes way more sense. Whoa, hello. It's a hippo. Plasma will do much damage. What else is down there? Oh, there's two hippos. The hippos are much less scary now that I know that these explosive spikes do really good damage against them. I mean, we'd have to be closer to make that work. But they're literally in my way, so... We are gonna have to go down here. These guys have a really sensitive range, too. Like, they see you coming. I hit him in a weak spot. Don't have enough stamina yet. Oh. See if we can kill at least one of them. Oh, I have no ammo? No. Alright, now I want explosive spikes for you. Why am I, like, attached to him? What was that? Oh, that one missed him. Now's my chance. Alright, we're actively in combat with something else, though. What else is around? Oh, kangaroos. It's always the kangaroos. Alright, we ran out of ammo. A lot. Got a couple more of these things. Yeah, it did the, the focus jam thing. I didn't realize these could, but it might not have been. It could have been Steady. the kangaroo. Which I think we're also going to have to kill. That went well, though. For a... Uh... Where are you? Oh, there you are. For a, um... Hippo fight... Not too bad. <laughs> this bow skill is my absolute favorite. Absolute favorite. The sniper bow has always been my favorite weapon. So being able to do like an entire epic shot from the sniper bow that then explodes. Here. There's gotta be another one of those consoles around. Devil's slide. I see. So yeah, all of these are probably uh nothing on land. Yeah, nothing, nothing on land. Like subtle hints. Another subtle hint from Aloy. Oh, unavailable. Will we be able to do that eventually?
without any spoilers, just yes or no question. Is being able to open the door underwater something that we'll get to do that we can't do right now? Wasn't there red light too? Let me go back and look. Oh, what the heck is that thing? Snap Ma. Yep. There's gators in the water. There's a gator in the water. There's a bunker door there. I mean, we fought snap maws in the last game, but not really like in the water, which seems a lot worse. There's that door, but there's another door over there. That might be inside, though. Because, no, I don't see anything with a red light. <sighs> Going down. Preferably not. There we go. And, like, we're, we don't, we're not equipped for underwater combat. We are not set up for that. Okay, so we're just gonna have to remember that like this one took water, a water skill that we don't have. I hope I remember this stuff like when it becomes relevant. When I am able to do it, I hope I remember that I can come back here. Hmm. I can override burrowers now. Oh, we should try to override it just to test that. We have the, um... Oh, it's gonna turn around. Oh, how did that not see me? How did it not see me? And how did I not have the override option? I had a strike from above option. Uh, X. Oh, too late. I put it on defensive mode. Okay, that, you gotta be quick. In the process of the override, you have to change it. Oh, it's recharging? Well, let's murder this one. I can turn this around. Fight for me, little buddy. Fight for me. Okay, you're going to turn on me here soon, so we're just going to keep going. Ah, oh, good job, buddy. Are you still my friends? Nope. You sure are not. <laughs> You're not my friend anymore. Oh, you turned on me. All right. Oh, wow. One shot? Okay. All right. Where are we going? We need to go over... Wait, what? No, here. There's the question mark.
There it is. Okay, so this is another path that we can't clear. Oh, nope, sorry. I was aiming for you. And missed. Sometimes I can make epic headshots across like an insane distance. Other times I miss with two feet in front of me. It, it could go either way. <laughs> it could go either way. Okay, good. So this showed, oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, so the map did remind me. It came up and says blocked path missing tool. Good, 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 good. Okay. That's what I need. I need it to tell me so that I remember when we're scanning back all these missing tool lo or locations. Okay, so I'm guessing that that's probably what all of this is going to be. We're right here now. There's a campfire and a hunting goods right there. I was originally going to say we could swim across, but now that feels like a terrible idea. Not going to lie, swimming across feels like a terrible idea. <laughs> we don't really have too much over here, though, in the way of question marks. Where am I in relation to a campfire? Way over here. This might be a fast travel pack situation. We could come back up here. And then maybe come along this. Or maybe even to Plain Song. And then just come see what these four are. It's in my head. Swimming across is totally fine. <laughs> no 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 it's not fine i don't think you can put mark like you can put waypoints on the map but only one and you can't save them so not anything that i could be like leave a marker of my own to remember something by i wouldn't normally waste a quick travel pack on this um but I have a bunch of them. And we're getting to about where I should probably be finished if I was going to be smart, but I'm not. <laughs> I want to see what these question marks are first. If I don't find a Gaia backup, it'll be like this everywhere. Did you get those herbs I asked for? Save real quick. Okay, so we want to go see what these are. These four right here, if possible. If I can do that, then I'm pretty comfortable moving on next time. And we'll come do this when we come back over here to like wrap up all these weird path things. We'll wrap up the rest of these like question marks along the edge. Because I have a feeling a lot of them are going to end up being like the metal flowers or the paths that we can't get through. Uh, but I want to rule out at least these four that are real close to where we were at. And then... Everything else is pretty much just some campfires that we missed. I would like to get down here to this hunter. But, you know, not a priority. Uh, this way. Let's go this way. That was such a dramatic fall. We didn't go that far. Always E for barrel rolls. Ooh, well, that'll keep me awake. That's why I did it. Totally. Oh yeah, that's their their okay. I heard the machine noise and I was like, <laughs> uh but no, it's it's their pet machine. What's this? Ah, discovered a blocked path. Yeah, it's more of these vines. Okay, well, that's number one. Let's go see what this one is. Actually, uh, that is an unknown campfire. So yeah, let's actually follow the road and discover the campfire. I could totally hit you with my spear. There we go. I'm not using my food. I really should. The food does give you good buffs. 
Are you bad guys? You are bad guys. Don't worry, I'll save you, friends. This time you're not gonna trick me. You're attacking my friends. Oh, you have a big hammer. Uh-oh. Oh, you have a fire hammer. I want a fire hammer. I mean, I don't really, because I wouldn't really, I wouldn't use it, and it looks heavy. And I only like heavy guns. Oh, you also throw boulders? Who the heck are you? Who is this guy? Rebel Conqueror? Honestly, that was weird. Your name is Truth? You're on the wrong side. Nope. Hey, hey. Is that everybody? Nope, someone's still yelling at me. They're still alive. Not tired of for it. long. Mm. Oh. oh, Yutaru died. I wasn't in time to save them. Okay, where am I going? This way. I want to fight the Scrapper. I guess I do. I didn't mean to waste fire on you. Metal flowers were in the first one and you just opened them. Like you just touched it and you got the, the stuff. So I was very confused by the metal flowers in this one not being openable. Uh, we're going this way. Oh, it's another drone. Grazers. Is he filling up the canisters on their backs? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was hoping was going to happen. It didn't with the first one, but it worked on the second one. One spear, chain reaction, three dead machines. That is ammo efficiency. I've seen one of those drones before. But if I find a way to get it down, I can get its data. <coughs> I mean, I'm guessing we can't just shoot it. I have to jump onto that drone to get it down. Yeah. <coughs> That's our answer. And we can't open this door. Which I'm guessing... Survey drone of plain song. <coughs> and these rocks. Oh, no, right here. I was going to say, these rocks are like the only ones in the whole game I can't climb. Nope, I can. I can.
So maybe I can jump onto it from up here. But first, we need to kill the scrounger. What are you weak against again? Acid. That's right. Right in the butt. Cell. <coughs> All right, now. Uh, maybe from the other side? Well, maybe from here. From here, I might be able to walk there. Alright, here it comes. Well, I might have been able to make it if I went up that. Yeah. See what it does. I might. It looked like I could have made it if I went up that little ramp right there. It's too high up there. I guess if I relocate now, I don't have to wait another cycle. Yeah. When he comes back over here, I think this is it. Her legs are shaking. Oh no, the muscle fatigue's finally getting Aloy. Going down. <coughs> okay, gotta grab the drone's data. Perfect. Uh, so that just leaves this one. That's a blocked path. We might need to get past there to get in here. I mean, technically the map says to go this way. It is some kind of structure. Looks like maybe I could get this way too, though. Around to the left. <coughs> We're gonna try it. I can't see a way to climb. There's no way to reach it right now. Okay, yeah, she just she just said there's no way to reach it right now as if she knows what I'm doing. Ready for anything now? And yeah, that was the opening that I was looking for and it definitely doesn't exist. Okay, so she flat out said we got to do that once we can get through this path. So where does that leave us? I think pretty good. Feeling pretty good about it. These might be interesting. It's a bit of an adventure walk. Yeah. 800. Wasn't this a charger site, though? Yeah, it was. Oh no, I was going to override that one. I <sighs> I was never here. Oh good. It lost us. I wanted to kill the other ones and then claim that one for this ride across the map. If it stops looking for me, there we go. I've still never successfully used this, like, charging skill that the spear is supposed to have. I just don't think I ever am in combat long enough and consistently enough to make it happen. Alright, let's go do this. 
I was hoping to go to level 20, but I don't think uh, we had a chance, really. All of this was like discovery, but not a lot of... I can't see a way to climb. There's no way to reach it right now. Not a lot of questing and stuff. But... All right, new mount, but just for this run. So make sure it's a suitably dis disposable name and we do not get emotionally attached. Hey, Link, good to see you. Oh, no. Yeah, that's the Skyhawk site. Okay, let's um let's go this way. Let's not immediately run our mount off a cliff. We're gonna go find the road. Is this the road? This is the road. Okay. There's a campfire right there. I could have quick traveled. Fake walk. The charging skill is famously awkward to pull off. I'm not missing much. Okay, good. I mean, just reading the description of it sounded super weird and awkward. We're going to run right past these birds. I have fought them a couple times tonight. I mean, granted, we're adventure riding because I was going to do stuff along the way. But I already changed my mind. Also, I think we just left the path. And I'm not sure how much fake walk can off-road. Not very if you run them into a tree. We're fine. <laughs> he is good. Oh, that's one of those... Wait, do I have this on my map? Nope. Ah! Go, go, go! This is one of those blocked paths. Um, but I can read the dialogue. Blast from the past. Worst thing about the end times is the waiting. Been here for three weeks, just digging in for the last stand. Can't sleep and access to the hollow net or whatever's left of it has been shit. Suffice it to say that my third most powerful feeling right now after terror and anxiety is butt numbing boredom. <laughs> So we're setting up a missile battery in what used to be someone's backyard, and during a break we have coffee in their old basement. That's when I look down and see an old black mat under my feet and realize it's a 30s era force pad. Everyone in my unit makes fun of me for being old, but once I showed them how to use that thing, they were grateful for my ancient wisdom. Hooked it up to a generator, and next thing you know, we were playing force launch, force volley, force blast, all the early hollow games my brother crushed me at when I was like seven. Only this time, it was me spanking the youngsters. The look on Alvarez's face when I dunked a hollow bomb on his 23-year-old cranium was priceless. Who you calling granny now, son? For an hour, the terror and anxiety and boredom were gone. It was good to be young again, instead of just another old soldier waiting to die. Oh. You're safe for today, Fox. Okay. Riding a mount. Did we just get stuck? Yeah, we, we totally did. Okay. We're going to run for it. Uh, theoretically. He's still bonded to us. So we can summon him back whenever we choose to. An old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. Oh, that's the one we couldn't get into. Okay. Right. That is the one that we tried to get into and could not. What's happening over here? What's this color? Acid canister burrowers. Do much. Scrappers. Okay. We scanned that the other time. I remember now. I remember scanning that. I know that's going to be me in 30 years beating the youngsters at video games. Only the ones they haven't heard of. <laughs> Alright, this looks like it's also going to be filled with potential problems. A whole lot of potential problems.
There are a lot of machines here. A lot of machines here. But what is it? There's a ladder up there. But I'd have to push it down. It's not one I can shoot down. None of them are particularly difficult machines to fight. So that part wouldn't be terrible. I think we're going to have to get in here to figure out what the... what the question mark is. And it also appears that the only way in is going to be past the machines. So let's do it. We came all this way. We can get up to some of them fairly closely, I bet. Hello, Fox. You're safe for now because I'm trying to be sneaky. Can I make it to the next spot of grass? Nope. Well, this one looks like it's got a canister on its back. It does. It's acid. I scanned it. I would like it to come near me so I can just like stab it quietly. Oh, they're both here, though. That's been fine before, since I'm so quiet. Come on. Right in the butt. Oh, no. All right, well, these three saw me. Down it goes. All right, super convenient of those other ones to run away and let me do that in peace. Oh, looting. Did I just do the thing? Did I just do the shocky thing totally by accident? I think I just did the shocky thing totally by accident. Whoa, hello. to use rocks. I always forget about the rocks. Uh, this is a... This is a hole we could rip out. That works. Oh, we automatically turned on our flashlight. How handy. Auto lights. Oh, we discovered another blocked path. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so as I suspected, another place we will need to come back to once we can do that. Can I get out of here? Nope. Can I? I would very much like to jump that way. Ah, cool. Thank you for the game tip. It looks like this was a Karja fort. 
Okay, yep, that's the thing I've we can't do. When the Tanakh pushed the Karja army back to Baron Light. Might be worth looking around. Loot. I open these doors. Kind of weird that I can't open these doors. Like, why don't you open? It's a lot of rotting wood here. Something heavy might break it down. Something heavy. I can't reach up there. I need to find something to stand on. Aha! There we go. That's the something heavy. And now here, we can grab the crate and bring it to the one. Okay, I would rather push it so I can kind of see what I'm doing. However, I still think that the vine here, whatever this vine is, is going to prevent me from actually getting anywhere. Yeah, because I don't actually see a climbing point. She made the comment about it being too high. But I think whatever I need to grab is behind that vine. Oh, but that maybe. Uh, okay, never mind. Hold on. It's this way. It's this way. It would be cool if you had the shield armor. That armor that we got at the end of last time was pretty cool. There we go. We did it. All of this for this. Now we can put the ladder down. Through all of that, did we ever figure out the second? Oh yeah, okay, both question marks were blocked paths. Oh, we have a quest over here. Ooh. New quest? Yeah, at this Karja camp. Ah. A rush of air. There's still quests. Yeah, this game just said that she ran into trouble on the way, and that's why we lost all of our stuff. Better than sticking around a bunch of elderly with lots of spark, but no metal. See, here I thought we were done, but we found a new, uh, Karja camp. Ooh, my stuff! Restock? You told me they were the best delving crew in the claim. Y you told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this, didn't I? It's a tray. <sighs> By the sun, man! Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder what the old ones served on it. Appetizers? Seafood? It's a tray! Who are you? Rushavid. You wouldn't recognize the sun if it hit you in the face. <laughs> this is the savior of Meridian, the one who sees the unseen. You've come for them, haven't you? Uh, them? The relics. The lake is full of them. Something big happened here in ancient times. You mind if I take a look? Oh. <laughs> it looks like a hard drive of some sort. <sighs> That's a lot of data. Um, should we be sending for a healer? Whatever this is, it all points to something called a mobile cover system. Oh, you mean a cover for the tray? No, more like something that could come handy in a fight. Where did you find this? Uh, the dig site, uh, which is now crawling with machines. And unless they magically disappear, we are leaving. Don't you want to find out what actually happened here? Maybe we still can. 
this feels like the kind of quest that might give us a might give us a weapon or shield what drew you to this place in particular every good expedition starts with a rumor when the Tanakh chased our forces out of the West, returning soldiers described this lake, rife with signs of the ancients. I knew as soon as I heard the tales that its waters promised a bounty of artifacts. A promise that hasn't been kept, at least so far. Those who are patient will be rewarded with sunlight when clouds pass. There's plenty of ruins in the East. Why come all the way out here to look for artifacts? Ah! Well, while my colleagues scour the same old ruins, I intend to blaze a new trail. Loquacious Gendas, the first scholar to discover the secrets of the West. Why, I'll be as famous as the great scribe Aram. You don't seem to share his optimism. I sell artifacts to nobles. Ideally, trinkets that are a little more glamorous than seafood trays. You can be so boorish. <laughs> Somebody's got to pay for expeditions like these, and so far we haven't found anything that'll cover my costs. So you got attacked by machines at your dig site? It was horrifying. When we arrived, the site seemed as calm as a gentle breeze. I saw a glint in the water and waded in. It was the tray. I was so enamored with it, I didn't even see the machines closing in. I barely escaped with my life. I was there. You actually had a pretty good head start on them. Easy for you to say, gawking from a safe distance. In any event, I had hoped the Asaram would deal with them. They're supposed to be the best delving crew in the claim. Instead, all they do is moan about hazard pay. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance unless we can find some booty to cover my investment. This might require, this quest might require the, um unopenable doors maybe we can all get what we Where's want this dig site seems like the best place to start if i'm gonna follow up on this mobile cover system maybe i can figure out what actually happened here the site is just behind us up the lake to the west i knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed savior imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight hopefully just the truth the sun has truly shined upon us this day Uh, Drowned Hopes. Go to the dig site, search the ruins. Oh, we see, yeah, see, we have some of these checked off. Yeah. Okay, one of them was this. And then there's two more over here. Go to the dig site, search the ruins for a security console. So at the very least, we know we can't finish it because we can't do this piece. I don't know if all of them are going to run into the same um, path, but since we can't do it now anyway because of this, uh, I'm not even going to start it. I probably would if we weren't at four hours, but we are at four hours. So, and we happen to be here with a campfire. Ooh, and a merchant. Hello, merchant. Do you have anything that I don't have yet? Uh, no. <laughs> nope, nothing worth getting. Uh, let's sell stuff, though. Look how much valuable stuff I have to sell. And then we'll check real quick about upgrades. Because there's a workbench here, too. Ooh, and Lord of Reed. Where's my bench? I just saw it. Wasn't there a bench? That's what we needed. A reason to stay in this oh, unforsaken right here. place. Literally right here. No, it's not. Is this not a workbench? Oh, uh, there's actually not a workbench here. Well, that's lame. That's lame. I do have a couple. I have five points to use. Well, we can travel to somebody with a workbench, but I want to look at this whatever this is first uh how's the weather a letter from home uh bragna furnace of my heart the forge isn't the same without your laughter but i know you were doing this to find the shards we need 
Little Eartha says we should spend them on making the forge as big as the sky. I got her a small mallet so she can pretend to make her own things. Algren took it from her. As you know, he's not a man who believes in forge wives. He wasn't as brave talking to me like that. I got the mallet back. Algren should have bigger concerns. The town has flooded again. So many trees have been turned to fire in the forges that the hills are as bald as my gramps. There have been mudslides and floods all down the valley. Vilga says we should be replanting, that the forest will bind the soil and give us lumber in the future. But Algren says that m they must use our time to build the flood walls higher. And he's the elderman, so what else can we do? The others might not listen to Vilga, but she is earning grudging respect. She made a pump to bail out the waters. Now they're selling well across the claim wherever there is flooding. Eartha follows her around day and night, always asking questions. I hope you are staying safe from the storms in your camp. Eartha misses you so much. The fires in me burn for your return. Burgrenda. I could have escaped with more relics. More village drama. <laughs> More village drama. All right. Well, we are going to call it here. We're at four hours um, and I should go to bed. So looking at this, I'm feeling pretty good about how much we've uncovered. Um, there's still some question marks, but there's so many question marks that require other tools that I think we're going to move on uh, when we get back next time and just see where the story takes us. And then we'll have to come back through this map area and we can clean up some of these unknown sections um, when we do that anyway. So we did really good. We're practically level 20. I got five skill points, over 2000 shards for upgrades. Um, so next time we will start with uh, wherever that quest is for the main story. Here, follow the orbs trail. Uh, we'll head right for that and get back on Silen's Trail is the plan. Um, I'm not sure exactly which days next week I'm going to be playing this. I'll be going in tomorrow to update my schedule onto the Discord once I decide what it's going to be. Uh, so if you're curious, that's where you'll find it first is in the event section at the top of my Discord. Um, otherwise, the streams do get put up on YouTube on the day of. So if you enjoyed tonight's stream and you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. And until then, have a good one, everybody.